everyone, welcome to our presentation. We're the Youth Travel Ambassadors from Brentside High School and we're here today to talk to you about our um, campaign. So we're going to talk to you about the feedback we got from when we went to the Greenford bus garage and when we talked to the drivers and we're going to discuss some of the issues that matter to you. Alright, so the following statements are going to come up on the board and if you agree with them, you're going to move to that side of the room. If you disagree, move to this side, but if you're unsure and you don't really know, then just stay in the middle. Loud music should be banned on buses. Alright, so Abbas, why do you agree that loud music should be banned on buses? Because some people might not have the same taste in music and it might disturb their eardrums. I think they've got a huge amount out of delivering the workshops. Presentation skills, of course, communication skills, ability to organise themselves. But more than those skills, I think they got the ability to see an idea that they'd had and they'd discussed and they'd refined actually be realised in practice and so they got the feeling that they can be effective in the world even as young people. Okay so now's a chance for you guys to make a pledge based on what we've said in the workshop so pledges like something you promise to do or you'll try and stick to every time you make a journey. Any pledges? I pledge to always greet the bus driver. I pledge to, when I'm with my friends, always make sure I'm talking as quietly as I can, so not to disturb any other passengers. I pledge to only take one seat where I'm on the bus alone to give other people the opportunity to sit down on the bus. I pledge to not listen to loud music on the bus. I pledge to not mess around outside the bus stop. I was really very pleasantly surprised by how they responded because um, you might think that it not coming from a teacher, students would take it less seriously. But once the students who were receiving the workshop realised how serious the YTAs were about their work, how committed and passionate they were, the students then took it seriously themselves and respected it. And as a result, I think they paid more attention than they would have done if it had just been a teacher that they were very used to listening to. I think the students participating in the workshops really benefited from hearing that message from their peers. We're always being taught, obviously, lessons, and we kind of switched the role. It was kind of fun to just experience how it is to like actually present a lesson, or you know. It was very nerve-wracking because obviously none of us had any, ever done something like it, like standing up in front of that many people and talking about something that we've created ourselves. So we've definitely come on a long way to being able to go to a primary school and just present our own projects. Um, without mistakes. I think they felt more at ease because it was student to student. There wasn't that much of a barrier. Like, normally it's like the adult and the child, but this was more friendly. And I think they were more, like, cooperative because of that. I think over the time that we've been doing this project, uh, we've all grown as a team and we've all uh, begin, begun to work together um, to have a better product of what we've been trying to do. We've also had lots of presentations, so gaining more presentation skills and confidence in that aspect. You are uh, results of our bus. <laughs>